What's going on YouTube? Training Life here. One more time. Hey, this is a requested video, guys. Today video, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna give you like a little tip and trick, guys, of uh, what's the easiest way to back up a 40 foot container. Usually the 20s is usually the one I get a lot of questions about, but the 40s. The 40s are the one uh, I got the question about, pretty much, so. So anyway, I'm gonna do a couple examples, guys. Ain't gonna be a long, drawn out video. But anyway, all right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, so this ain't gonna be a long, drawn out video. Like I said, it's a requested video, guys. I thought, if I can help out some, why not, right? You know what I'm trying to help out. So look, anyway, I'm gonna leave my doors open because I'm actually picking up an empty, but it's the same concept. Doors closed, doors open, but back into a spot like this is open enough so the doors open don't really don't matter. Now, if you back it between two trucks with the mirrors and the doors open, it's a little different. You wanna make sure your door is not open too far where it could catch somebody's mirror or hit something, an object on the way back. But anyway, we don't have that case right here. It's, it's open right here. So, 40 foot container, I'm coming in right here. Now, without getting all detailed and technical, one thing with the 40 footers, guys, check this out. The kingpin is not that far from the front of the chassis to the kingpin. It's, I, I think it's about, man, I'm not sure how far it is, but it, it ain't that far. That plays a difference in when, how you how you able to track. When your tractor is tracking the trailer when you're backing up. You know how you're driving forward, you got the trailer, it's trailing the tractor. Well, when you're going back, your tractor is trailing the trailer. So it's tracking. That's a lot of trackings in there. But anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that plays a part when you're trying to back up. The, the key to these 40s that I found out, guys, because that's so far forward, you can't get too, too far in the, jack, the, in the jack position, whereas you're not able to recover without pulling up. So you gotta, you gotta kinda ease and walk these 40s back because of the location of the kingpin. Now, as far as like a sleeper with a 53 footer, when the kingpin is like, let's say the, the front of the chassis right here, the kingpin may be right here. So you have more front swing right here. So let's say your, your fifth wheel is right here. And it's connected. Let's say that's right here, you connect it. Now you got more swing room up here, so you could, if you jackknife, you kind of catch up a little quicker because your kingpin is located further back. By that being more far close forward, guys, the key to these 40s is don't, don't let it get too far off track. It's hard to recover. That's how, you, that's how it's kind of hard to back up these. And also, too, on top of the kingpin being so far forward versus the 53 footers when the kingpin sits a little further back, this is a smaller, this is a more narrow trailer. This is more of a narrow trailer. This is like 96 inches wide. It's not 53. So, on the 53, you have this box coming out like right here, which it plays a part because them extra two inches or three or four inches make a difference when you're backing up. But anyway, I ain't gonna get all technical right now, but anyway, so I'm a back in. I'm a, I'm a back in regular. I'm gonna do a one shot, one kill. And then I'm gonna show you guys what not to do so you won't so you'll catch it before it get out of control. I'm gonna do it from inside the cab, and then I'm gonna do it from outside the cab, and then also I'm gonna do it uh, outside how not to do it and how to do it. So anyway, without further ado guys, let's go. All right, so now I'm lining up right here. My mirror is right here, guys. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, rule of thumb is you're supposed to start turning Supposed to start, start, start turning out when your door hit this door right here. But with these 40s, it's something about them, man. Like I said, that kingpin positioning, guys. You gotta put a little further forward so you, you kind of walk it back. But anyway, so look, check it out. Here we go. I'm going like this from right here. And my door actually is in, on the, in front of this trailer. And then I'm gonna start turning out. You see, see now, see that little yellow line on the ground? I could use that as a pivot, but with these 40s, man, you gotta kinda walk them back, guys. So here we go, one shot, one kill. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show it from the inside, then I'm gonna show it from the outside, and then I'm gonna show you what not to do, and hopefully this video helped out. So anyway, I'm bagging up. I'm gonna just walking in. See, 
Now, right now, why well, ain't gonna explain right now? Let me just go and get it in there. You don't want to lose your position in too far, too much. If you give your tractor and your trailer get too far in the V shape, it's hard to recover on a 40, depending on where your fifth wheel is placed. But the kingpin alone, it'll make it harder. So, anyway. guys one shot one kill but let me show you what I did on the outside guys stay tuned see how I am kind of jackknife out a little bit but and you can see um, my trailer is kind of in front of this right here but anyway Right now guys so check it out that's how you don't want that's how you do it from the inside and from the outside let me show you how you don't want to do it I'm gonna, I'm gonna break down how you walk it back guys step by step I'm gonna try to do the best way I could but just stay tuned guys all right guys now for the back up right here now this is called over over steering guys overturning so now I'm gonna back up you know y'all see how I walked it back before but I'm gonna overturn on purpose so you can see it's kind of hard to recover you can always do a pull up but to kind of walk these things back it's like you overturn, so not an overturn on purpose, guys. Watch this. I'm gonna get to a point where it's like a V. It's hard to kind of catch up. So watch this. I'm gonna overturn. It's an overturn on purpose. Now, right here. Now, right here. Let me show you. All right. Now my truck is right here, guys. Look, truck. You can see that my chassis is turned. If you look back, I look like it look like I'd be able to go in. Now with a 53 footer, you could catch it. But remember I told you you don't want your tractor and your trailer to get like a V too quick. See look, let me show you from back here. Now from back here, it looked like I could catch that. Which I probably no I can't. If it's a 53, a 53 footer, I could because of the kingpin positioning. But because the kingpin so far forward, it kind of like it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of be like a, a V. It's gonna move like this. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about in a minute. But anyway, so now you see the lines right here, right? It looks like I catch that, but I really can't. Even though this tractor turns pretty good, I still can't catch it because of my positioning. That's the thing with these 40s, where the kingpin position that it kind of, it's kind of hard to catch them. You got to walk them over little by little. Because if you don't, it'll be, uh, be kind of hard to catch them. And you'll find yourself doing what I'm going to do right here. Now watch, I'm going to try to catch it. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. But let me show you this right here. Kind of give you an idea of how my truck is positioned. Look. Like this. It's like that. This is how my truck is positioned. And it looks like, look like I go right up in there, right? And my wheels are kind of straight. Now I'm going to turn my wheels to the left and try to catch up. And you guys going to see. I'm not going to be able to catch it. Watch this. Still the same position. You see. Nothing changed. I'm going to turn my wheels to the left. And try to catch up with it guys watch this watch watch to see where the back of that trailer go watch this wheel still i'm trying to roll wheel still turn i'm supposed to be able to catch it but watch this 
Look at that. It's turning like a V. It's turning like one piece. Now you would think, okay, now from right here, you would think, yeah, he's in there. Yeah, he's in there. If I stop right here, my wheel still turn. If I stop right here and do a pull up, I can could, I could, I could catch it, but trying to pull in, back one shot, one kill, or trying to get in like this, I can't catch that trailer. I can't catch it. Wheel still turn. Let me show you guys how to look on the outside, guys. You can see, I can't catch it. Wheel still turn. Chassis still slightly bent. And it's right there. You see, it's still off. So if I back up like this, what do you think is gonna happen back here? This right here is going back into this right here. You see? The key to these 40s, guys, and these especially these 20s, but really I'm talking about the 40s right now, is you can't let this, you can't be too far jacked with a 40 footer, guys. Cause it's, it's kind of hard to catch them. You can always do pull-ups, but if you can try to walk it over little by little, you can turn the wheel, see the trailer turning, catch up with it. Walk it a little bit, see the trailer turning, catch up with it. Little by little, you walk it over little by little, guys. But if I keep backing up, just like I am right now, this is gonna swing like this into this right here. See, look, let me show you that side. And the only reason I'm in this position right here right now is because I, over, I oversteered, guys. So if you're backing into a dock, guys, if you're backing into a dock, you really gotta make sure it's lined up neatly, guys. But check it out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm still, I'm still crooked, but I'm not gonna be able to catch it, though. It's too far gone. Watch this. Now, there's a couple ways to recover from this, but I'm just showing you why most people lose the 40s. See, watch this. See, look. I'm backing up just like it is. See my tire? Same, but look, I can't catch it though, look. And I'm still, all that bagging I did, I'm still crooked. See my tractor? Look at the wind, look at the fairing on my tractor. And look back there, I'm still crooked. These 40s, you gotta, the key to these 40s, guys, you gotta catch them before they get away. Now, how I correct this right here? Turn my wheel all the way to the other side. And then you pull forward a little bit, and you can see, it's starting to correct it now. Look at look at the fairing in the mirror. You, you should see the corner of that chassis really soon. You see? See the corner of the chassis right there? Because my wheel is turned that way. Now, in order to get straight back there from here, I, not that I'm straight, I'm kind of straight. I'm going to turn my wheel to the left and push my trailer to the right. The steering wheel is opposite of the trailer, guys. So check it out. See, you see the corner of the chassis right there? Now I'm gonna catch up with it. Look at my wheel. I'm gonna catch up with it and go on back. And just make the corrections as I need to go. And make the corrections as I need to go, guys. So, and there you have it, guys. That's how most people lose the, lose the 40s, guys. Believe me, I had that problem too, because I'm used to back of the 53s. But at the end of the day, Oh guys, check it out. See, I'm in here now. I'm in here now. So anyway, the name of the game with the 40s, guys, don't oversteer, don't overturn, because you can lose them really quick because of the kingpin positioning. And see, I'm in here. You know? So anyway, YouTube, I hope this video was helpful, guys. And for you, for you viewers who want to see this, I hope this really helped you out, man. Maybe I'll go more in details on it on another day. But right now, I gotta get up the road, baby. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful, guys. So anyway, I, YouTube, hope this video was helpful. Give you a little understanding of how bagging a 40-footer could be kind of difficult at times. But anyway, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.